Okay. We're gonna open one of these uh, ultra capacitors that failed. To see why it failed. Uh, it charges a little bit, but not actually. Uh, does it not go to the 2.7 volts that uh, it specified? So I'm going to open it from the top, based on some pictures that I saw already of what it's supposed to look like inside and uh, some of the Chinese fakes uh, are showing internal ultracapacitors that are actually not 500 farads but uh, something lower like 100 farads or so so they have a fake one inside well a smaller grain one but I don't think this one is a uh, smaller grade, I think it's just failed uh, somehow. Let me just check this. And it should be fine. something happened and okay so we went uh, made a little hole through it but that's okay I am seeing something white inside uh, we'll see looks like I can stick something like the scissors in there Okay, uh, I might have cut through some with the scissors. Hey, it doesn't look bad. I mean, as I expected bad. You can see there are, uh, oh, there are three leads on each, uh, on each piece of uh, aluminum. There is three leads that go into the roll. Uh, what does look like is uh, it looks like the roll is dry. It looks like it's pretty dry actually. Let's see if I can remove it. Uh, got a little bit squished there, so that's kind of holding it in place, I think. And got a thing here too. Well, that was my plan. I thought it was going to come up really easily. there and you can see this here so this is actually not a fake one it's just uh, it probably uh, got dry and uh, that was it look it's dry it's bone dry and I can see the uh, carbon uh, the activated carbon that it has inside looks interesting might uh, open it up for other things just to see how they do it see how big they, the surface area required for for this little thing I mean it's uh, it's 500 farads pretty high up there this 
one took like a lot of turns. I have to uh, look at other videos uh, online uh, to see what uh, other surface areas are reported and you know how many farads and all that stuff. It's kind of interesting. Uh, looking at the inside here, I can see a uh, pre pre marked. It's a pre marked uh, kind of burst uh, area at the top. Kind of, you know, just regular ultra cap uh, re regular capacitors uh, have that feature. So it looks like they have that as well here. But in uh, if I inspect it, uh, it doesn't look like it's burst. So uh, it doesn't look like it actually got burst. Maybe. In the uh, um, in the build process, they forgot to uh, wet it with the uh, electrolyte to activate it or something. I'm not sure actually. So basically, uh, I can't really make any conclusions out of this one, other than that it's dry. It looks dry, and the carbon here. Uh, I mean, it's pretty dry, it doesn't have any kind of wet uh, surface or anything like that. I expected some sort of wetness in there. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels dry, and it feels like everything in here is dry. I have another dead cell. I'm I'm gonna try a better job here at opening it, and maybe that one I will uh, deep in some uh, oil or something, and then try to charge it and see if actually it charges. That's it.